So hi, Bill. Hey, Ed. So we are here at the GPU audio booth, and uh, you're going to talk us through kind of what you've been up to and like what's going on with you guys, right? Sure. Hey, everybody. My name is Bill Collins with GPU Audio. We're here at NAMM 2024. And at this show, we are showing off our first partner product with Vienna Symphonic Library. It is uh, Mir Pro 3D. And uh, essentially, Mir Pro is a, uh, like a 3D soundstage reverb. And uh, it's really heavy uh, processing on the CPU. So you can offload that now uh, to your GPU and just by pressing a button. And you can really kind of free up your CPU for lots of other tasks. So um, is, it, is it available now? What's the kind of like, is, is, this, is. is this what we're looking at right here? Correct, yeah, it is available now. And let me show you, uh, over on the right-hand side, you can switch between CPU and GPU power. And you'll notice a massive performance increase when you click on the GPU button. You could have a session that is, um, you know, just as an example, this particular project has something like 72 tracks, like an orchestral session. And um, once you're hitting play, you'll start to see your CPU meter uh, start to peak uh, at around 80, 90%. And when you switch over to the GPU mode, it drops down. Uh, kind of depends on the, the DAW that you're using and a, a few other things, but uh, it's a massive performance increase. So does it run in kind of all DAWs or? It does. Yep. Excellent. And obviously uh, the different uh, formats of plug-in as well? Yeah, it is uh, currently just VST. Right, okay. I'm sorry, VST and audio unit. Yeah, okay, brilliant. So um, you've also got uh, the guys from Mantra here as well, right? Yes. So our, our friends at Mantra, are, we're working on a new partner product with them. We uh, just announced it uh, about a week ago or so. It's called Living Sky, and we're happy to be joined by Brian De Oliveira, the CEO of Mantra, and he's going to tell us a little bit more about Living Sky. Brilliant. Well, thanks for talking to us, Bill. We'll uh, we'll catch up with the Mantra guys, and then we'll uh, yeah we'll see you soon. Cheers. So hi, Brian. Hi. Thanks for having me here. So uh, talk us through this new product that you're doing with GPU Audio. So um, basically, we're just showing a quick preview of what we've been building for the past year. This is a partnership with GPU Audio and Auto Echo. And with the three combined companies, we've been able to create something that's never quite been possible before. And the ability to be able to run hundreds of convolutions at the same time, uh, but t take advantage in a way that hasn't been done before by being able to use fifth order ambisonics as the foundation. So that means that we're running, you know, at the same time, 64 channels of a globe of, of, of reverb sound, but we wanted to take this further. This is just the foundation. We're able to take various spaces in this kind of resolution and combine them in different ways and have them cross-modulating between each other to, in a sense, creating these living, breathing spaces. And that's what we want to create, you know, we wanted to, to bring to life with Living Sky. So we're, we're really excited to be able to share the, the next, uh, the next really, um, sorry, I'll take this again. So we're really excited to be able to, to show the, the results um, that we've spent a lot of time researching this. It's been actually almost two years of figuring out how we can best capture. We're also uh, not just doing fifth, cha fifth uh, order ambisonics, we're also capturing some of the uh, IRs in, into the ultrasonic range to be able to also do bending with the, with the ambisonic reverbs and be able to just do, you know, in a sense, be more creative and not just be using it as a normal reverb. So really, it's the idea of, of using reverb as a spatial tool and as a spatial instrument that will be a part of your creative process. Brilliant. So uh, you say it's kind of an early, we're at an early stage right now. Yeah. When, when are you kind of hoping to have this kind of ready I to go? I uh, think like by mid this year, we should have something pretty finished to show and hopefully be able to share with all of you. Brilliant. So is there anything else that uh, you want to talk through, uh, like any of the processes that were involved in uh, making this? Um, yeah, there's, this all comes from, from our experience in, in video game uh, production. So we've, we've basically taken about 10 years of, of our experience capturing sound for this, and we're really just taking that, that's, that state of mind and that, that workflow to be able to apply it to music making. So the interface actually you're going to see is actually, a, uh, there's going to be two interfaces. There'll be the VST plugin, which is 2D, but also there'll be a 3D interface where you'll be able to interact with, with these spaces in a, in a 3D environment and in, in a much more intuitive way than you would just using a normal 2D knob. 
So is, is this something that we can see now? or uh, We will be showing very soon. So right, yes, okay. we're teasing right now, but we just wanted to let you know that this is coming and we can't wait to show you more. Brilliant. Well, Brian, thank you very much thank for speaking you. to us.